So I was asked a question, can you make borders inside of Owen Photo Raw where the border doesn't actually eat into the pixels of the image? So essentially we have to create more space on the outside of the image and then create a border around it. That's what we're gonna do today. So let's dive in. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw. And as you can see, I got a picture of my daughter from her soccer game, which you guys are gonna see a lot of images of those uh, in the near future. Now, if you come up to the top and you click on File, you're going to be able to get to your canvas size, all right? This is important. You wanna be able to get to your canvas size because this is where you're going to create the border. Now, as you can see, my units of measurement is in inches. If yours says pixels, you can absolutely do this in pixels. You can do it in inches. It doesn't really matter. I prefer using inches because it's easier for me to do my measurement. Now, before you make any change, you want to come over here and uncheck this block that says lock proportion. So we're gonna click that and get rid of it. The reason you wanna uncheck that is if I were to put in, let's say I wanted to make this a, I wanna put a three inch border on my width and my height. So I make this 79 inches. As you can see, it changes the height to match the proportion. Now that sounds like something that you would want. So let's just go ahead and check that. Now look here the width has its proportions uh you know probably about the size that i was going for or maybe the top has the proportions the size i was going for but if you look at the top and the side or the bottoms uh, the bottom and the side you'll realize it's not as proportionate for the border so this is the reason why you want to uncheck the uh proportion or keep proportion. So I'm gonna hit Command Z, just undo that real quick. And then we'll hit File, Canvas Size, and this time I'm gonna uncheck the block. And I wanna make a three inch border on the top and on uh, the sides, or top, bottom, and the sides, all right? So I'm gonna, oh, I'm meant to make that 79. And then here, I'm going to go 53. So now that I have that set 79.53, when I hit apply, you will see the border applied evenly all the way around the image. Now, you can't leave it like this because in order for this to get filled in, you have to create a fill there. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this particular uh, style, right? So I'll make a yellow border just so that way it stands out a little bit easier. We'll click create the color fill layer, and then I'm going to click drag underneath my image. And as you can see, I now have a yellow border around my entire image. Now, I don't recommend you do this if you want to use the border filter because you're not going to have the ability to do that. It's not going to come out the way that you expect it. But this does help you with putting a solid border around your image. So that way you don't have to lose any of the pixels or the dimensions of your image, especially if you have very little headspace, but you want a border around it. If you found value in today's content, smash the like button. And if you're new here, my name's Chris. I create content centered around On One Photo Raw, but also other photo editing applications. If that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to check the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop new content. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.